Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and we love to talk about nerfs here on the channel, nerf ideas, reactions to nerfs, all that. It's one of my most talked about subjects and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to make a couple videos covering the history of nerfs. And uh, before I get into what those will be, I just want to thank everybody. 60%, uh, we're up to 60% of our viewers are subscribed to the channel, which is insane, ridiculous. And I just want to thank all of you. And to the 40% who aren't subbed, if you feel I've earned your subscription, I'd love it if you would hit that button at some point. But regardless, I appreciate your view and I'm just happy to have all of you around. So yes, today we're going to start a two video part series, taking a look at the most nerfed cards or by class and the most nerfed cards by expansion. Um, and one is really interesting. The, we'll go uh, tomorrow, we'll take a look at the most nerfs by expansion. It's really interesting to see how things have escalated, the numbers are of nerfs as they have increased. But today, I thought it'd be kind of look, it'd be funny to look at like what's been the most kind of busted class. And uh, we did a, a most busted or best class of all time tier list video not that long ago. And uh, it kind of correlates a lot with the uh, total nerf. So a couple of caveats to the video though, this will not include any Hall of Fame inductions as those cards technically weren't nerfed. They were just put in the Hall of Fame, taken out of standard a little bit earlier before other cards. And this will also not include anything from 2022 on because um, as of recording this, there hasn't been a balance patch announced. And by the time this goes live, there could be, I don't know, but uh, yeah, this will only include up until 2021. So let's take a look at what the most nerfed nerfed class in Hearthstone history is, and I'll just start right out the gate. Uh, this isn't a class, but I just thought it was an interesting little tidbit. If you take a look at the neutral cards uh, in the history of Hearthstone, 40, 40 have been nerfed over the entire uh, span of Hearthstone, more than any class by uh, by double actually, 40 neutral cards. And if you look earlier on in the run of Hearthstone, it was a lot more uh, neutrals nerfed than there were class cards. Neutrals were pretty powerful and now it's like class cards are a lot better. They get nerfed a lot more often. You can look at some historical ones for neutrals like Leroy Jenkins. Uh, you've got, you know, Molten Giant was pretty prolific, a knife juggler. And then you have more, you know, recent neutral cards that have gotten nerfed like uh, Lore Keeper, Polkelter, or pen flinger uh pretty impactful ones but yes uh, neutral actually takes the cake for the most nerfed if he would call it a class but it's not a class so let's talk about the least nerfed class and go to the most so the least nerfed class is actually a tie between hunter and warrior uh both relatively balanced classes if you want to say it in that regard both have been pretty prolific throughout their entire run. Uh, looking at Warrior, uh, some of their more prolific cards to get nerfed are like Dr. Boom, Mad Genius, uh, Hero Card, Fiery War Axe, Execute, War Song Commander that got obliterated. Uh, quite a lot of really good cards. Hunter got hit a lot more er early on with cards like Hunter's Mark, uh, Starving Buzzard, Call the Wild, and more recently had cards like Dino Team or Bran and Scavenger's Ingenuity. So yeah, Hunter has been hit pretty softly and same with warrior it doesn't really surprise me as those are classes that have never felt too broken outside of maybe like risky skipper days for warrior or you know just face hunter in general for hunter has just always been good uh the eighth most nerf class is paladin with 11 nerfs total so one more than hunter and paladin uh mo a lot of the nerfs for paladin have been more recently with examples being first day of school nerfed twice and yes if a card has been nerfed multiple times i include it multiple times um hand of a doll we've had alliance bannerman we had high abyss allura which is a dual class card and i might as well throw that in there because i'll get answer our question about it yes i include these and for each class. So yes, it'll be included in the priest number. If you look back at like the old days, not a lot of old Paladin cards were nerfed. It's a lot more recently, probably the oldest Paladin card to get nerfed um, would be Equality from the classic set, went from two to four, as well as Gang Up, I believe, which was from Kobolds and Catacombs, went from five to six after Baku was introduced in the Witchwood. Uh, tied at number six and seven, whatever you want to call it respectively, with 13 nerfs apiece, uh, would be Druid and Mage. 
uh, Druid had a lot of its classic stuff nerfed. Uh, probably the most classic cards nerfed for a class. You saw like Wild Growth, you saw Nourish, Keeper of the Grove, Innervate, Force of Nature, a ton of cards for Druid uh, nerfed in those days, but you've even seen cards like Guardian Animals, uh, Fungal Fortunes most recently in Druid, as well as Gibberling. So Druid had got hit pretty hard early and pretty hard recently, but still kind of in the middle of the pack. I thought it would be higher when I did this. And Mage with 13 cards, well, Mage is kind of a, a broad spectrum of things. You have classic cards like um, like Mana Worm, and if we were to include Beta, there was a lot of freeze cards like uh, Frost and Wind that stuff, but we're not including Beta. This is all pose. This is all once the game officially launched. So that's another question people might have asked. But you have like recent cards or more recent cards like Conjurer's Calling, uh, Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Uh, we saw Tatorum Pilgrim, Dragoncaster all nerfed, and uh, yeah, Mages got hit quite a bit. But they got hit, I feel like, more with like Hall of Fame stuff with like Ice Block and Ice Lands. But those aren't nerfed, so it kind of falls in the middle of the pack. But it'd be a little bit higher probably if you might include the uh, Hall of Fame stuff. Standing alone at number five is Priest with 14 separate nerfs. Um, we've seen a bunch recently, two to Mind Render Elusia. We saw it to Cabal Acolyte. We saw nerfs to uh, Renew and Apotheosis. And uh, like more older ones would be like to Raza, the Unchained, or even Reckless Experimenter when Snip Snap was introduced to the game. I felt like Priest hadn't been nerfed as much as it has, but it turns out it has, but there's even like an odd nerf in Shadow Boxer, which was changed so that basically it would count itself it was a healed. And once Lifesteal was introduced to the game, they had to remove that effect. So there's been some oddities from like cards being introduced for priest cards to get nerfed, but it's also a little bit skewed. I will admit Flesh Giant was nerfed twice and is technically a priest card, bumps it up as well as Hyabeth's Olora got nerfed mainly as a Paladin card, but is also a priest card. So priests, although nerfed 14 times, have only been nerfed really 11 and a couple of those are kind of clunky to say the least. Next at number four, we have Shaman standing alone with 15 nerfs. A large part of that was the Galakron Shaman stuff. You had every Invoke card nerfed. Uh, it was like Dragon's Pack, Corrupt Elementalist. You had Invocation of Frost. We also saw Sludge Slurper nerfed and then reverted very quickly around that time. We've even seen uh, Shaman cards like Hex, Rockbiter from the Classic set get nerfed, as well as some other cards in the mix. So Shaman's been hit quite a bit and Shaman's also been bad quite a bit. It's quite an interesting class to take a look at what has been hit over the years, but overall not a ton of classic, mostly newer stuff with two of the more recent cards being like Mogu, Flesh Shaper, as well as Bog Spine Knuckles getting the hit, as well as the very recent Snowfall Guardian. Next, tied at number two with 18 nerfs apiece, Rogue and Demon Hunter. Yes, Demon Hunter, the class that was introduced like what? Two years now it's been in the game? Yes, is tied for the second most nerfs. Demon Hunter, when it was introduced, was one of the more ridiculous things we've ever seen, being nerfed literally within a day with cards like I Beam, Skull of the Gul'dan, Eldraki Warblades, and Prison Anton, as well as some other cards. And we've seen plenty of other stuff like Soul Fragment Demon Hunter with like Blade Dance and uh, Shard Shatter Mystic getting nerfed. We saw Ilganoth get nerfed. Demon Hunter has been an extremely powerful and unbalanced class most of its run. And as a result, has 18 nerfs in such a ridiculous short time, almost double the amount that Hunter and Warrior have had. And Rogue has just, well, just always been a ridiculously good class. One of the most busted classes. We've seen cards from classic like Prep, Blade Flurry, Edwin Van Cleef, saw raiding parties. We have seen Galacrons and uh, lackey cards like Evil Miscreant. And I have a feeling there's gonna be more coming. Rogue has just historically been one of the best classes in the game and as a result is kind of the bearer of a ton of balance changes over the years and is still not enough to take number one and uh, well number one probably won't shock a lot of you and that would be Warlock with 20 nerfs total. A ridiculous amount and I think the class with the most cards that have been nerfed multiple times that includes Hysteria which has been nerfed twice that includes Dark Lair which has been nerfed twice Flesh Giant which has been nerfed twice uh, Ruined Mithril Rod which has been nerfed twice as well as the most recent Demon Seed nerf and a ton of other nerfs and even weird ones like Dreadseed that got nerfed because Defile was introduced into the game and well Warlock probably the most busted class in 
Hearthstone history. I think it might have bumped Rogue from that pedestal lately, but it's up there. And yeah, 20 nerfs total for the Ro Warlock class. So there you go. Tomorrow we'll take a look at the most nerfs by expansion. It's a fascinating one. So make sure you hit that sub button. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends. <laughs>